This is Christ Living Spring Apostolic Ministry Club, where the power of God works miracles through the hands of the anointed man of God, Pastor Wale Oladin, the senior pastor, as he ministers salvation, deliverance, and healing. Prayers, they say, is the master key, but you must pray with understanding through the word of God and the reality of your new creation to defeat the enemies of your soul. Your life will not remain the same as you listen to this life-changing message. Thank you and remain blessed. Shall we lift our hands unto the King of Kings and give him seven loud hallelujah? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and our God, we want to thank you for this garden that is unto you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your steadfast love thank you, Lord. that does not cease. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your faithfulness thank you, Lord. that does not cease. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your mercies you, that do not cease. You, we thank you for all that you have been doing for us you, as your people. Thank you for this nation, Nigeria, because we know you are at work. Thank you, Lord Mighty God, for the recovery process. Thank you for this mountain. Thank you for the body of Christ. We thank you for the successful Feast of Esther last week. We thank you for this program. Thank you for what you are going to do this three days revival. Thank you for what you are going to do in the new Lord's settlement. We want to thank you for every family connected to this commission. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for empowering us and enabling us to see the new month. You, we say glory be to your name forevermore. Hallelujah. I stand as your prophet to declare in accordance with the word of the Lord in Romans 8.19 that says that the, for the earnest expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God that this month to every living soul who says amen shall be your month of manifestation. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I decree unto every living soul that in that area where you are trusting the Lord for roundabout and robust manifestation, it shall happen in the name of Jesus. Amen. God we visit you. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus name. I've prophesied. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord and be seated? God bless you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to clam in the name of Jesus. How was your night? It is well with you. I welcome all our online watchers. I want to welcome especially all the servants and handmaiden of God in the house for your love for this mountain. It's my prayer that together we shall make heaven in Jesus' name. My assignment this morning is so brief uh, because we have to give uh, the apostle of prayer enough time. To the glory of God, these three days are days that God has made for everyone to have fulfillment so that every impossibility can be possible. Amen. And I'm trusting the Lord that the vessel he has sent to us we deliver that which God has programmed for everyone. Amen. And at the end of the day, we shall all testify in Jesus' name. Amen. To the glory of God, I have in-house a brother, a pastor, and a friend of mine. Someone that we cherish so much in the prayer corridor. I want to say again and again with emphasis that to the glory of God is an apostle of God, an itinerant prayer revivalist. As a matter of fact, in the last few months, God has been using him all over the world. And the joy of the Lord is his strength. Amen. Husband of one wife. <laughs> and a dutiful father of two wonderful sons a barrister and solicitor by training, a product of great effect to the glory of God. He has successfully practiced law
for over a decade before God called him into a full-time ministry in 1997. He is the cherished pastor of Victory House, RCCG London, a house of prayer, a house of testimony. It's always a delight to have him on this mountain. We are all very, very expectant, and I know that his God, my God, your God, will surprise us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has promoted him recently. He currently oversees 17 nations under RCCG Region 2 in Europe. He superintends over so many parishes, so many areas and provinces to the glory of God. What a wonderful God we are serving. By the grace of God, I can describe him as an ambidextrous person because God has enabled and has empowered him to use both sides of his brain. He is an avid writer and he has written wonderful books that are blessing the body of Christ. I have two of the books here. This one, Command 2016, Prayer Warfare. In fact, you see prayer speedometer here. Everybody must get this book. It's fantastic. I've been preaching for this book. It's wonderful. He has Command Your Miracles. This book is going to set the whole world in motion for testimonies. He has written Command Your Star, Command Your Fruitfulness. And I'm happy to announce to the body of Christ that this Command Your Fruitfulness has been made into a movie because of his life testimony to the glory of God. Command your enlargement, command your deliverance. Make sure you go online, get all his materials. His tapes are fantastic, very, very fantastic. He has prayer CD, prayer DVD. Please, Clam, could you be on your feet to welcome the apostle of prayer and the person of Pastor Leke Sanusi. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. A joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you. There is none like you. No one can compare with you. You are the Alpha 
You are the Omega. You are the beginning. You are the ending. You are the Lord who was, the Lord who is, the Lord who lives forevermore. You are the Elion of Israel. You ride it upon the wings of the wind. Your name is Jah, who is like unto thee, who can compare with you. Is there anything too hard for you? Is there anything impossible with you? You are the God of absolute possibilities. We worship you. You speak a word and it comes to pass. No one can say to you, what do it thou? We worship you. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the ancient of days, the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the Lord that makes a way where there seems to be no way, the Lord that killeth and maketh alive, our Father, Abba Father, our Maker, our Redeemer, our Shield, our Buckler, the lifter up of our heads, our God, our Lord, our Daddy, our husband, our best friend, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Almighty God, the Jehovah Jireh, our great provider, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Nisi, our banner, Jehovah Saba, the man of war, who has never lost any battle, who can never lose any battle. Our Father, we worship you. We bow before you. We declare your glory, your majesty, your dominion, your power. The governor over Nigeria, the governor over nations, the ruler over the affairs of men, the owner of his church, the God of clan. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Our garden is not unto any man. Our garden is unto you. We are grateful for the testimonies that you give us upon this mountain, upon this Mount Zion of Clam. We are grateful. Thank you for the God of Apostle Wally Oladion. We thank you for the signs and wonders that you are doing through this ministry all over the world. To you be all the glory, all the honor, all the praises, and all the adoration. Lord, these three days have your way like never before. Come and do what only you can do. Let all glory be yours, for no man will share your glory with you. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessed Redeemer, we are so grateful. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody will leave this program with a testimony that will make headlines. Amen. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. Somebody will leave this mountain with a testimony that will be heard all over the world. Amen. If you are that person, shout a louder hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then somebody is going to leave this mountain with a testimony that will rewrite the story of your family forever. Amen. Forever. Forever. Amen. It will Amen. change the story of your family to Amen. glory forever and Amen. ever and ever. Amen. If you are that one, let your hallelujah be the loudest now. Hallelujah. Put your ten strings instruments together for Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen, amen, amen. Shake hands with your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I love you. God will bless you. But I must let you know that my own blessing will be bigger and more than yours. As a matter of fact, I will need your help to carry some of them home. You are welcome. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I want to give honor to whom honor is due. So I don't take my being here for granted at all. I'm the least to stand on this exalted altar and minister to great people of God that are here gathered. And so I want to celebrate and appreciate the vessel that God is using all over the world to change lives, to transform lives, to give hope to the hopeless, to set captives free, 
to rubbish the kingdom of darkness, to disgrace Satan and his demons, and to bring laughter to those who have been weeping, and to wipe away tears from all eyes. I celebrate our beloved Father in the Lord, the set man and the set woman of this great mountain of God, our pursue and mommy, Wale Oladium. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I say with all sense of responsibility, and there is no lie in it at all, that this ministry is touching people all over the world. By the grace of God, this little me travels a little bit around nations. And I say with all sense of humility that every nation I have been in the last two years, there will be two or three people who will come and meet me and say that we know you through clam. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And these are people who come not just to say that, that they know me through clam. They are people who come to also testify. Hallelujah. Give me testimony of the great things that the God of clam <laughs> has done and is doing in their lives. In the course of these three days, you will hear some of those dumbfounding testimonies. And I know that your own will be amongst them. Amen. Hey. If your own is not amongst them now, the next time I'm here by the special grace of God, if Jesus tarries, before this conference is over, Amen. when I say the next time I'm here, I'm going to be here tomorrow by God's grace, on Friday by God's grace, I will be sharing your testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's celebrate that dear mommy one more time. Thank you. Thank you for the great work you are doing. Amen. I also celebrate all great men and women of God that are here and also associating gladly with this ministry. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. I celebrate all our beloved elders. God bless you. Elders, we never cease at the gate of Nigeria. And may the counsel of the elders continue to stand firm. Amen. We are grateful for your lives. Thank you, sirs, man. I also greet all ministers and workers of CLAM. None of us will become workers of iniquity Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the great work you are doing as Aaron and all in this ministry. I'm grateful to God for this wonderful congregation, one of the most prayerful congregations in the whole world. No wonder God is blessing you so much. It's a great pleasure to be back here again, to be uh, your brother in Christ and share the word of God. Thank you so much. I also greet and celebrate all pastors and ministers that came all the way from United Kingdom, London, in London to also support us and pray for us at this conference. God bless you all. And all the wonderful brothers and sisters that are watching online, wherever you are, your miracles will locate you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I give thanks to God and I'm glad to say that CLAM's program is one of the most and best watch program online all over the world. Yes. I meet people all around the world who tell me that, that we're online watching the program of CLAM. So I celebrate the technical department and all the departments, media of CLAM. You are doing a great work. You will never come down. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The next three days will be your best days so far. Amen. For God will do unforgettable miracles Amen. in our lives. Amen. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greetings from the most beautiful woman in your world, my beloved wife. Praise God. And also the ministry that we represent. On Friday, when you are coming, by the grace of God, don't forget to bring a green card. What are we bringing on Friday? In addition to our bottles of oil, as the case may be, specifically, we must bring what? A green card. Don't ask me now what that is for. 
wait until Friday. Amen. Amen. This is our month of manifestation, yes. isn't it? Yes. So that is expectation. Your expectation will become manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. On Friday, you will connect with what the God of Clam is doing with that green card. It will look like this. Amen. So bring somebody along that is not here and remind them to come with this. And when you are coming, you can come with two or three or four because there will be some people who will be coming for the first time on Friday who, may, who might not have had the announcement so that you can share it with them. Glory to God. 2016 is your year to rule and to reign. Amen. 2016 is your year of dominion. Amen. This year you will rule. Amen. This year you will reign. Amen. Whatever has been dominating you, this is the year to dominate them. Amen. This is your year of positional leadership. Amen. This is your year to rise to the top. And to remain on the top. Now listen to me. Prophetic destiny of year 2016 will not come cheaply. You have to contend for it. You have to fight for it. God told the children of Israel, he said, I have given you Sihon, the king of Amorite, and all his land. He said, go, contend with him in battle and possess it. From the days of John the Baptist and up until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence taken it by force. Thus said the Lord, 2016 is your year to rule and to reign. Amen. So there will be enemies of your ruling, enemies of your reigning. So I declare this morning public execution. Amen. Public execution. Amen. Against powers that say you will not reign and rule. Amen. Please be seated. Let me prove this to you from scriptures and then we are going to pray. 2 Kings 14, 21. <laughs> Let's celebrate our beloved pastor who will be interpreting this morning as the Lord leads. 2 Kings 14, 21. I read from the New King James Version. The Bible tells us that Azariah was 16 years old when he began to reign. How old was he? 16. Azariah was 16 years old when he began to reign. In this 16th year of this millennium, you will begin to reign. Second Chronicle 26 verse 3. Second Chronicle 26 verse 3. Hear the word of the Lord. Uzziah was 16 years old when he became king. Can we bring it up on the screen, please? Second Chronicles 26, verse 3. Uzziah was 16 years old when he became king. How old was Uzziah when he became king? This 16th year, of this millennium, you will become king. The son of the king will become king. The son of the king of king will become king. The daughter of the king of king will become queen. And he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. You will reign for a long time. 16th year associated with rulership, reigning, and dominion. But there are enemies of reigning. There are powers who will say it is impossible for you to reign. What do you do to them? Public execution. Luke 19:27. Luke 19:27. Luke 19 verse 27. 
Our Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that he was destined to rule and reign, yes, we must be on that job. very aware that there will be enemies to his ruling and reign, he knew how to deal with them. Public execution. What did Jesus say? He said, but those my enemies, which those my enemies which will not that I should reign over them. Bring either and slay them before me. Verse, that same verse 27, Luke 19, 27 from the New King James Version, it says, but bring here those enemies of mine. Where should we bring them? Where should we bring them? Yeah. I was a public execution. Who did not want me to reign over them and slay them before me? Slaughter them before me. Disgrace them before me. Eradicate them before me. Annihilate them before me. Rubbish them before me. Bury them alive. Rise up on your feet to pray. Lift up your voices like thunder. If this is your year to reign and rule, you must contend in battle for your dominion. Say, my father, my father, gather the enemies of my reigning together and slaughter them in the name of Jesus. Prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Take a prayer partner. Open your eyes. Pray for them. Loud and clear. Say, child of God. This year and forever, you will rule. You will reign over poverty. You will reign over sickness. You will reign over barrenness. You will reign over your father's house. You will reign over your mother's arm. You will reign in the name of Jesus. Prayer. Prayer. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let your amen sound like thunder. We are still praying. There are what I call arrows of impossibility. I want to say what? You must deal with them on this mountain. Genesis 37, 19 to 20. Genesis 37, 19 to 20. <laughs> they said, concerning their brother Joseph, this dreamer is coming. Again. This one that has a dream of greatness. I want only a lot to deal with you. This one that has a dream of dominion. I need only a lot to dominate. This one that has the dream to reign over his father. I need only a lot to do with you. They said he's coming again. One year to turn back. Let's deal with him. I just go go to you. Let's kill him. I just go. Let's destroy him. I just go here. And then we are going to see. Oh, worry. How his dream will come. Be a lot. You are so worthy. In other words, let us make it impossible for him to become great. But the God of absolute possibility said no to their plan, to their plot. 
all the devices of the wicked against your greatness shall backfire. Every arrow of impossibility speaking against your destiny shall backfire. Lift up your hands and your voices. If God fought for Joseph, he will fight for you on this battle. The God of Apostles, you will fight for you. The God of Apostles, Joseph and your Baba Lola will fight for you. He has done it before. He will do it today. Lift up your voices like thunder. Arrows of impossibility from my father's house I am not your candidate backfire return to your center arrows of impossibility against my greatness from my father's house I am not your candidate backfire return to your center in the name of Jesus, prayer. Backfire. Return to your center. After the order of Joseph. Backfire now. Every arrow of impossibility against your greatness, against our greatness from our father's house. Backfire. Return to your center. In Jesus' name. We pray Amen. that I may sound like thunder. Amen. Stretch forth your hands towards the and now when you see what you I join my faith with yours on this point. And I declare whether the enemy likes it or not, year 2016 is your year to rule. Is your year to dominate. Whatever has been carrying you from now on, begin to carry them. In the name of Jesus, any power that has vowed that you will not rule and lay over them, I condemn them. Hey, hey, by hey, public hey, execution Lord hey, arise hey, after the order of your son and our savior hey, slaughter them hey, slay them hey, in the name of hey, every arrow of impossibility hey, fired against the carriers of these arms hey, let those arrows backfire hey, hey, Arrows that says it is impossible for you to become great. That arrow will slay the sender. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare on this altar. Year 2016, 2016 is your year of increase. The days of year 2016 increased by one day. There is an addition of one day to this year. To those who believe on this mountain, I declare this is your year of addition. Hear the word of the Lord. Genesis 30, 24. Genesis 30, 24. And the Lord shall have. She named him Joseph. And said, the Lord shall have to me. The Lord shall have to me. I prophesy. The 
if you stretch forth your hand towards this altar, I prophesy in this year of addition, in this year of increase, the Lord shall have to you. It will add joy to you, add peace to you. It will add progress to you. It will add prosperity to you. It will add edge to you. It will add riches to you. It will add fame to you. It will add salvation to your family. It will add honor to you. It will add long life to you. It will add mercy to you. It will add grace to you. It will add favor to you. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I receive Say, so settled in my favor. It's important for them to know in whose favor it has been settled. Say, Lord and Christ, settled in my favor. That the Lord shall add unto me. If we had come and see miracles to you, in the name of Jesus, put your ten strings instrument together for Jesus and please be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Mark 15, verse 21. I'll be preaching briefly from Mark 15, verse 21. I'll read from the New King James Version. And the topic that I want to share with us briefly on, and we will pray as the Holy Spirit continues to lead us. The topic is this, and you are going to say it with me very loudly for heaven and earth to hear. The topic is, this is not my cross. I reject it. You didn't say it well. This is not my cross. Announce to your neighbor, this is not my cross. I reject it. Mark 15, 21. And they forced a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander, I will read that later. Let me read first from the New King James Version. Then they compared a certain man, Simon a Cyrenian, the father of Alexander and Rufus, as he was coming out of the country and passing by to bear his cross. The Amplified Version puts it this way. And they forced a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus, who was coming in from the field country, to carry his cross. Holy Spirit breathe upon this world. And remove every cross of impossibilities from our lives. Do signs and wonders by your word. We return all glory to you. In Jesus name. I want you to note four things from oh, that scripture concerning the man called Simon of Siren. Number one, the Bible says that they forced him. Another translation, number two, says they compelled him. The third thing we found from that story was that they said he was a passerby. And another thing in that scripture was he was coming from the field. He was a passerby. He was coming from the field. The field can represent your farm. It can be the place where you go to hand your income. It can be the place of your hand labor. You have gone all day and you are coming back. This man was just coming. They waylaid him. Any power assigned to waylay you in life. Holy Ghost fire will waste them. They waylaid him. They forced him. They compelled him. If we had not passed through that place on that day, he would not have become a victim. So he was wrongly located. He was at the wrong place. At the wrong time. Rise up and fire this prayer arrow. Say, my father, my father. This year, order my 
my style. Oh, you you are are the style. Let me be at the right place. Let me be at the right time. At the right time. Yeah, doing, right time. doing the right thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer powerfully. No pray necessarily a varush. In right Jesus' time. name, right we pray. You will not be wrongly located. In the name of Jesus, any seat of death prepare for you anywhere this year in the heaven, in the air, on the ground, over the sea, inside the car, at all. That seat, that seat. We be empty. Your chauffeur will be empty. Your chauffeur. You will not be wrongly located yeah. to sit on them. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Be seated. A man was coming from his legitimate place of work. He was coming from the field. After he had this job, before he could reach home, he was forced. He was compelled into the hands of kidnappers. Two years running now. That man has not yet been found. I profess this year, all the many years of your life as you come from the field as you come from war as you come from business as you go out to pursue your destiny duty you will never be forced into the hands of kidnappers you will not be forced into the hands of terrorists if your amen is loud enough you will never be forced into the hands of assassin, you will never be fall. You will never be compared. Into the hands of robber, you will never be compared. Into the hands of the wicked, in the name of Jesus, be seated. Simon of Cyrene. Where was Cyrene? Cyrene was in Libya. Where was Libya? Where is Libya? Libya is in the continent of the world called Africa. Libya is in the continent that I came from. The majority of us here came from. That was where Cyrene came the one that they force and compare to carry the cross of Jesus. Some people of my continent, Africa, when they read these scriptures, they clap arms, they rejoice, they say glory be to God. An African man carry the cross of Jesus with all due respect. I disagree with your rejoicing. He was forced. He was compared. When you are forced and compared to do something, do you dance? Do you declare a party? Do you rejoice? When they force our ancestors to slavery, while the slaves rejoice. When the tax masters force hard labor on the Israelites, while they dance. The Bible said, Cry. By the reason of your oppression, the forced labor, the compulsive oppression, they cry to God. God heard their cry. The Bible says God saw their sorrow. It is sorrow to be forced. It is sorrow to be compelled. To be forced or compared to do something is to go through oppression. Jesus Christ came to remove oppression of the devil. According to Acts 10, 38. According to Acts 10, 38. So a man forced and compelled into oppression. How can anyone be rejoicing in that? Raise up your right hand and pray. Say every spirit of oppression attacking my destiny Expire by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
What did he carry? He carried a cross. What is a cross? A cross is defined as any misfortune. Trouble. Or opposition, frustration, adverse situation, unfavorable condition, amongst many other definitions. Of the cross. Now, one of the ways of denying the God of absolute possibilities is to accept certain things as our crosses and continue to carry them. When heaven had not said so. Many a times you hear even Christians they come and tell you that this, this is my cross. This is my cross. Whereas heaven is saying no. We didn't give you this cross. I said, this is not my cross. I reject it. Say it again loud and clear. This is not my cross. This is not my cross. I reject it. I reject it in Jesus' name. The cross that Simon carried. It was the cross of Jesus. What was that particular cross? Hear me well. That cross of Jesus was an evil load. It stands for causes. It stands for affliction. The sins of the whole world. The problems of the whole world. The sickness and diseases of the whole world. Hey. That will be nailed. That must go to God. Gotta. The only person destined to carry that Anything was Jesus. Only Jesus. Anybody else that does it and carry to is a medusome interloper. Oh, she she, she oh, she Whoever carries that cross and to be was a medusome oh, interloper. She, 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 you know what that cross stands for? A tree was set in the wilderness by Moses. Under the direction of, of God. And God said, as many as were sick and have been beaten by serpentine spirits, when they look at that tree, they will be healed. Why? Because on that tree, every condemnation was already nailed down. You are not supposed to suffer it. A man now carries instead of the one that was destined by God to carry. Listen to me, sir. They they took that cross from but Jesus. The soldiers did not carry it. The Jews will not carry it. None of the 12 disciples came to carry it. But a foreigner of African origin he was the one that carried it. No wonder. No wonder. Simon was a father. He was a father. Scriptures Scriptures are powerful. God chooses the words of the Holy Scripture carefully. When the Bible was introducing that man to us, in Mark 15, 21, in Mark 15, 21, in Mark 15, 21, the Bible says that this Simon of Cyrene was the father of Alexander and Rufus. Baba Alexander and Rufus. Father of Alexander and Rufus. Baba Alexander and Rufus. So I ask myself, why did God tell us the father of who he was? After all, those children were not with him. But I discovered this from the Holy Spirit. They have to tell us the names of his children so that they will let us know that the cross this man carried became a generational cross for his children, oh, Alexander what? and Rufus. Oh, what Alexander, Alexander and Rufus. Alexander and Rufus. Unfortunately, oh, inherited the evil load that their father carried. Rise up to pray. My father, my father, I reject on this altar every evil inheritance in my family. I reject by fire evil inheritance. 
evil causes from my family. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Maruska, Maliketoya, Reshata Livre Ketelia Bakosa, Radu Sali Ketelia, Nekuri Moko Toli Vranamakusa, Rishka Fronomo Supre Ketelia. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated. The first thing, the first thing. It was not a willing vessel. From Genesis to Revelation, you will discover God does not force people. No. Isaiah 119. Isaiah 119. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the Lord. Psalm 110 verse 3. Psalm 110 verse 3. He said, your people shall be willing. Your people shall be volunteer in the day of your power. This man was not willing. This man did not volunteer to carry the cross of impossibility. They forced him. He was not the savior of the world. He was not the savior. He was not the savior of the world. The cross that Jesus Christ was supposed to carry for himself as part of his own destiny as Simon of Siren carried it. Every cross that does not belong to you, reject it now. Reject it now. Reject it now. Be seated. Hear this, brethren. I asked a question. And the answer is clear. What reward did Simon of siren get for carrying the cross of Jesus. If what he did was so dignifying, after all, God is a rewarder. What reward did he get? He, he did not become one of the disciples. He did not heal the sick. He was never mentioned again in the Bible. Peter that ran away from the cross, he shadow hid the sick. Simon of Siren. Kilo what is your problem? I say on it, we are the people who are not going to get a place of destruction. Only on it, we are the people in the name of Jesus. What was his reward? I can't find it in the Bible. After that measure of his name, we never had All the disciples that scattered around from the cross, they became for signs and wonders. Simon desire. Simon Ikirani. What a tragedy. I, I prophesy on this altar. Owners of evil law. We carry their law from you. Hey. Big city. The causes that they were supposed to nail to the cross. Ogbe, he carried them. Oh, he carried them. Ah. It was not yet time to share in the fellowship of his suffering, of Jesus' suffering. What is he looking for there? <laughs> Jesus' yoke was not yet easy. His body was not yet light. The yoke will become easy, the body will become light. After crucifixion, I got got her. Jesus himself said, yes, we go. Everyone and can must carry his own cross. Mark 834. Mark 834. Galatians 6 5. Galatians 6 5. Each one must bear his own load. Oh, God, Say, I reject this cross. This is not my own. Oh, it is not my own. In the name of Jesus. What more lessons do we learn? Very quickly, number one. It is possible to carry what never belongs to you. Number two. The enemies can force a problem on you. Number three. You may be suffering now for an offense you did not commit. 
Number four, not everyone is a willing captive. The enemy forced some people into captivity. Every satanic captivity shall be turned in your favor this year. Number five, one can die poor. Whereas one was destined to be rich by God. Number six. You can resign yourself to something abnormal and continue to live with it as if it is normal. Number seven. Some people confess impossibility by saying that their problem is a cross. Whereas the God of absolute possibility desires to change their stories. Oh, tell that to you, but I, want to I share a testimony with you. Many years ago, one of our sisters in the church came to me with tears. And she said, Pastor, Pastor, this is my cross. I don't know what to do. I said, what's the problem? She said, this is my first son. Look at his life. He's in the university. They're about to expel him. He's so problematic. He belongs to gangs. He joins bad associations. He's immoral in his way. He has now started smoking. He gets all Horrible reports from school. This is my cross. As soon as she said, This is my cross, I said, Stop that. I said, It is not your cross. Reject it. Ah, I pray for you here today. Every cross of impossibility that the enemy has given you, you will return them to sender. Let your amen sound like thunder. I said, Reject it. It's not your cross. She was weeping. It was like the case of the son was beyond remedy. I can't say that. I said, be like a mother. I created you to be. This child came out of the womb. Speak to your child. Speak to that boy. Take him back to your womb. Reincubate him in your womb by the Holy Ghost. Speak to his destiny. Speak life to him. Reject death that the enemy has given you. Say to God that this is not your cross. That you are rejecting him. She was encouraged. And she began to pray. As we counsel and direct her. Today. 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 today that same boy. That same boy. Is now a young man. A top investment banker in London. He works with one of the top most investment banking industry in the Last year, the mother came to me. Again. She was in tears. She said, Pastor. Remember a few years ago, this is my son that I came to you about. He said, Look at him now. Look at him now. He said, What a mighty God. With two more things are possible. From today, I prophesy the only tears you are going to share will be tears of joy. I command tears of joy, tears of jubilation, tears of testimony to fill your heart. In the name of Jesus, be seated. What are the crosses that some of us are carrying that do not belong to us? Cross of sickness. See, I reject it. When I mention a cross, I want to hear you loud and clear. Say, I reject it. If you can hear the voice of your neighbor, it means you are not loud enough. What are the crosses some of us are carrying that do not belong to us? The cross of sickness. The cross of poverty. The cross of barrenness. The cross of curses. The cross of idolatry. The cross of sin. The cross of frustration. The cross of losses. The cross of profitless 
labor, the cross of abnormal struggle, the cross of stagnance, the cross of non-achievement, the cross of oppression, the cross of abnormality, the cross of evil law. See, I reject them all. Say, by fire, by fall, I reject evil cross. In the name of Jesus. They forced him. They compelled him to carry it. They can force you to do some things directly. They can force you to do some things indirectly. When they program your destiny satanically, and you begin to behave the way God did not create you to behave, they have forced you into captivity. When they put anything inside your luggage of your destiny without you even knowing it, that it was meant to bring in possibility to your they greatness. have forced you they can force a lot into your destiny a lot becomes evil law and as long as you have that lot your Abraham can never become Abraham good but today on this mountain by the God of absolute possibility. Every evil cross that they are forcing to your life, directly or indirectly, we return them back to the center. Listen to a true story. A couple collected wedding gifts. They carry all their gifts home. For the next 15 years, the wife could not conceive. Not a single pregnancy. They came to a prayer meeting like this. Over three days like this. That's why I believe that in three days, your dry bones shall rise again. They heard the word of God. The word of knowledge came. There's somebody here. There's an evil Lord that you are carrying. The Lord will open your eyes to you. That Lord will live your life. And doors will open to you. This couple got back home. They prayed. And the Lord opened their eyes. To go to a corner where they had kept their wedding gifts that they collected 15 years ago. Of course, they've opened virtually all their gifts. But through some satanic programming, there was a particular one there that they had never opened. They were sure that there was a wrapped, wrapped. Objects with wrapping paper, gift paper, that they had never opened. And they asked themselves, ah, you mean we can have a wedding gift here for 15 years that we have not opened? So they opened it. When they opened it, what was inside? A small coffin. Ah, coffee. Yes, sir. Yes, ma. A small coffee. Was what was there? Was what was there? They lifted the lid of the coffin. And they saw the image of a man and a woman. Laid inside the coffin. Destiny buried. Prematurely. They scream. Called him pastors and prayer warriors. Who prayed? Did night vigil. Took the coffin to the back. Pour kerosene on it. Set it on fire. And destroyed it. The following month. She conceived. Today. She's a joyful mother of children. Listen to me. What if God had not opened the eyes To see that evil law. That woman could die barren. That man could die barren. Rise up to pray this prayer. Pray with violence. Pray with firepower. Say every evil law. Every satanic crown attached to my destiny. What are you waiting for? Come on! Come on! Come on! And be destroyed by fire. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed. Come out. 
Genesis 31 in verse 19 32 and 34 we don't have time to be reading all this but what happened there was simply this Rachel carried the cross from her father's house she took an idol began to carry it around carried it everywhere she went what Rachel carried from her father's house. It was not her own. It was not her cross. That thing became a problem that led to a premature death. Lift up your right hand. Pray with holy anger. Any evil law from my father's house that is troubling my destiny right now. I reject it. I return it. I free myself from I you. Free myself from In the name of Jesus. Be seated. What is that negative inheritance? Evil inheritance. From our father's house. You are free from it today in Jesus. The God of possibilities set you free from it in Jesus. Genesis 44, Genesis 44, verse 2 and 12. Genesis 44, verse 2 and 12. Benjamin and his brother, they were going back home. But unknown to them, they are put on a cross, an evil load, inside Benjamin's lodging. He carried it upon his head. The first thing they compared indirectly. He did not know. He did not understand. Ah, he cut on the other ruskata. He brought na he ke lisa tubra le shita liava. Every satanic programming manipulating your destiny for evil by God of this altar. God of all possibilities, we deprogram it. Yeah. We break the manipulation. Yeah. Benjamin carried a cup Benjamin. on his head. It was not a cup of blessing. It was a cup of problem. If you study that scripture very well, it was described as a cup of divination. Joseph later said that, don't you know that this is the cup I use for divination? It was not a cup of blessing. It was a cup of death. Cup of bondage. Cup of shame. Ah. Ah. It was a cup oh, of Utah. From destiny, destination. Only if one law. They, they are going, going back to Canaan. Canaan. Land flowing with milk and honey. because of this evil law, this cross that was on Benjamin's head, they were forced to make a Utah and they returned to Egypt. God sent me to you. Every evil crowd that want to return you back to square one, 
Reject it now. 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 Rise up and pray like they said. Any evil law. Any evil law. Assign to abort my journey. Assign to abort my journey. To greatness. To greatness. And breakthrough. And breakthrough. Come out of my life. Come out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Prayer. Come out of my life. In the name of Jesus, come out, 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 come we pray. Amen. Sit down. Benjamin. 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 Benji. 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 They gave him a call. One way for me, I go. Of evil cross. I go. I go. I go. I go. I go. Cross that did not belong to him. I go. I go. Take his children. Permit me to say to you, brother. Take his children. You for your love. Benji's problem started from childhood. From childhood. He wants him be a giving him just to prove it you. to you. He died back in Genesis 35. He went to the Genesis 35. When Benjamin was about to be given back to the Benjamin. As a result of the evil law that the mother can the evil cross that the mother can from her father's house. When her father was looking for him, and she sat on it. She sat on it. She sat on it. She, sat on it. She, she was pregnant then. Pregnant of Benjamin. All the satanic program inside that evil law. All the evil arrows were being transferred and transmitted into the baby in the womb. To go go to buy wali aye yi. And return them to sender. Amen. Amen. Back to back to the sender. So, when the mother gave birth to him, because she already had an evil load of premature death, she had a, an evil load of premature death. When her soul was departing from her child birth, she was about to die at She named the baby that was coming out. She said, Benoni. Oni Benoni. 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 You know the meaning of Benoni. Son of my sorrow. Oh my Banuja. Son of my pain. Oh my Banuja. Son of my sorrow. Oh my Rora. Son of my pain. Oh my Banuja. That was the name. Orukara Niji. The mother. Who had evil load from the father. Gave to Benji. The father quickly screamed. I said no. His name will not be called son of God. We shall call him Benjamin. Benjamin. However, the word had gone out. Benji's case will have been war. But for the father's but that problem still chased Benji to adulthood. We have prayed. We have fasted. We have so many deliverances. Yes. Manifestation of evil crossing. Here and there. Rise up to pray. Every evil cross. Every evil law. Following me from childhood. I reject you. 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 Die by fire. In the, in the name of Jesus, pray, 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 we pray. Yeah. I stand on this altar this morning. Yeah. On your behalf. Yeah. Every cross of impossibility. Yeah. We reject them by fire. Yeah. Every evil cross. Yeah. That followed you. To this world, every evil cross that has made your destiny to become lame, you can't move forward, you can't leap for joy in this leap year. 
in this leap year, let that evil cross die. Amen. Let that evil Lord cut fire. Amen. You will leap for joy. Amen. You will leap for joy. Amen. Your glory will leap for joy. Amen. Your star will leap for joy. Amen. Be seated, let me close. Jesus said, yes, we our Lord said, oh, we that we should bring our heavy load to him so that he can exchange it with lighter one, not the other one. How can Simon decide? He carrying a cross far heavier than him. He was not even destined to carry it. What did you bring to this meeting? What did you bring to this meeting? What did you bring to this meeting? That you believe from the word that we have shared do not belong to you. I profess you will not go back home with him. You will not go back home with him. You will not go back home. You will not go back home. You will not go back home. You will not go back home with him. In the name of Jesus, I stand upon this mountain of clouds by the God of heaven who made our father in the Lord Pastor Adeboy to turn 74 today and remove every evil load from his life and is using him to remove evil crosses from Jesus people's life. all over the world by the miracle of God upon Pastor Yadebo I profess every one of you saying a very loud name receive bad day miracle your names will change on this earth. You will not go home with evil names. Go back home with satanic gifts. God will give you divine bad days. God of Yadabai will give you divine new God of Clam will give you divine bad God of Oladio will give you divine bad Receive it with the loud amen in Jesus. Let me close with this. Say, this is not my cross. I reject it. I reject it. The second time I had to tell somebody to reject the cross happened in January this year. January Be seated at close to the January this year. It was in Canada. We had a prayer retreat like this. And then on Friday, no, Friday, the meeting started on Thursday. Oh, that Thursday night, no, Thursday. some of the protocol officers came to I me. To say to one me. They said, Pastor, when, the pastor, last year, no, I talk when you came, no, I tell you one of us was your prof protocol he officer. To you. But six months ago, so when you me, he had an accident. Oh, no, he okay. said, pastor, Great pastor, now the matter is beyond just the accident he had. Oh, so you have to it's like something else had entered. Oh, be great, can you the doctors don't even know what is happening. It was a simple accident he ought to have recovered. Oh, yeah, care, right, yeah. They said, but he has not recovered. So you have to it, he said, pastor, right now, one in this year, he's too late. I said, I'm uh, uh, almost seven times. Well, oh, it need, well, need love for me, the, the original. What if you have to love he said, he, they have to wheel him. To, one last he can't walk, be, hey, can't be, He has to use some gadgets one last if you one, can't, can't so around one. the legs. Lord, I said, no. But he told us, oh, what's up? Can't that can't Pastor, when you come, we, we should beg you be to pray for him. That they will bring him to the one meeting. One that one. if you pray for him, we we believe that God will kill him. I said, Bring him tomorrow. Night. It was Friday. No, your Friday. So they brought him Once he be, what? to the prayer meeting. Leave it, I, think that, I said, take him to a room. When they came to call me to the to the church, to the meeting, I said, I want to pray for somebody. I went to the room where he was. I saw this brother. This was in Canada. Canada. The 8th of January this year. He looked at me. Oh, I recognize him. Mercy, ma. That he served me last year. Say, oh, shit. All, All of you are serving God diligently. God will fight for you. Amen. Every desire of God for your greatness will come to pass. Any power 
power bringing impossibility to your greatness. God Almighty will slay them. Amen. I recognize him. As a brother that served me last time. He looked at me. Oh, woman. He said, Pastor. Only oh, Pastor. Look at me now. Hey, woman, yo. Burst into tears. Oh, what breast? I almost wept. He said, Look at this now. Look at the cross the enemy had given me. I said, It's not your cross. Reject it. Oh, God, I'm angry in my spirit. Tell your neighbor, This is not my cross. This is not my cross. I reject it. I reject it. Be seated. Hey, Joko. The topic I've given you today is not a light topic. It's a rema. Even when you leave this place, from now to the end of the day, for as many days as you can, when you are walking on the street, when you are driving, after this meeting, continue to say, this is not my cross. I reject it. I reject it. This is not my cross. This is not my cross. I reject it. I reject it. From today, if the enemy comes against you, like a flaw, like the Holy Ghost, wake up in your mind and say to the adversary, this is not my cross. This is not my cross. I reject it. I reject it. He said, Pastor, look at the cross they've given me. I said, no, it is not your cross. Reject it. You are not Benoni. You are Benjamin. Benjamin. You are not Jacob. You are Israel. This is not your cross. Reject it. He said, thank you, Pastor. I, I, I said, now let us pray. I prayed for him. Very simple prayer. And I said, it is done. He said, Pastor, I've lost my job. Since this problem started, he said, they're about to repossess my house. It's only my wife that has been struggling. The body of two people has become one. In the name of Jesus, God, we fight for you today. Amen. He said they are about to repossess my house. Because of this crime, I have no job anymore. I said there shall be restoration. I said just wait and see. I left him. I said, Pastor, you can't go like that. I must see. I said, no, 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 but you don't have a job. I should even give you. He said, no. He said, no. I understand spiritual principles. Said, this is my last anywhere. I'm bringing it out to seal this miracle. And I left. Saturday morning, I left Canada. I went to Houston, Texas. Started another program. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, the 12th of January, 2016, 2016, I got a message on my WhatsApp. I got a message, a text message from the brother. I want to read it to you. You want to hear testimonies that will turn you to a testifier Amen. before the end of today. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Receive your own. Amen. He sent me this message. He might be watching online where he is now. That's why you can't afford to lie on the pulpit anymore. The whole world is watching. He wrote this and I quote him. I want to quote him verbatim. I'm not paraphrasing. That's why I'll be reading him. He said, Pastor, I have a testimony already from the prayer you prayed for me concerning my life. Before the end of today, you have a testimony already from the prayers of today. He said further, I just called the church office in London. But was told you are still traveling. Since I got back home from the prayer retreat, I have not worn the air cast for the leg. I could not wear shoes with the legs before. But to the glory of God, I wore shoes on both legs. And I went to church on Sunday. Pastor, Pastor, I have not had any pain. And my walking had stabilized. I did a CT scan last week, Thursday. Preparatory to, for a, to a surgery on the leg. To, to a second surgery on the leg. I am sure that the doctor is in. 
is in for a shock when I see him tomorrow. Because of God, what God will do on this mountain, all those who will see you after today, after 10 a.m., all those who will see you, they are in for a shock. I said they are in for a shock. I said they are in for a shock. In concluding his testimony, he said, Pastor, Only Pastor, this is an instant miracle. Now I believe that with God, all things are possible. May God bless you, Pastor. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. In the name of Jesus, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. There is no more sorrow. I believe. Yes, Lord. As we come to a close, we we'll pray just three prayers and pray them with the whole of your heart. But before we pray, what do I do, Pastor? To reject crosses that I have What do I do, Pastor? To turn around. What do I do, Pastor? To receive my instant miracle. Even today, number one, surrender your life to Jesus. Make him your Lord and your savior become serious the Bible says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mouth your strength is in God it is not in idol your strength is in the Lord it is not in the world you have carried crosses that don't belong to you that's why it's like your destiny is not being fulfilled who you and I have carried evil load from our father Simon desiring he came from where you and I came from. No wonder. No wonder. Struggle upon struggle. Struggle upon struggle. The black man has to pray and pray and pray and pray before preaching. I've seen white ministers. I've seen myself also. Maybe tomorrow we'll go to that dimension. But today, any ancestral evil Lord, we reject them. So you must surrender your life completely to Jesus. If you have been doing one leg in, one leg out, let it stop today. Because there are evil crosses that you don't even know about. That you don't even know about. Did Benjamin know that there was a call? That there was an evil cross in his love. In fact, his own brothers were adding curses. They said, they said to the soldiers, if you find that cup in the bag of any of us, let that person die. Ah, ah, ah. What's on your my man? They told him that the same thing. What's off my man? The same thing was told. They told that thing to the same. Jacob. Jacob. When Laban was looking.
looking for that idol. When he was looking for it, Jacob, Jacob, because he was convinced that he can't find it in his house. He said, if you find that idol, it is my house with anyone. Let no wonder. No wonder. The wife died prematurely. I pray every cause, every spirit, known to you, unknown to you, by the power of Calvary, by the blood of Jesus, we nullify them. We turn them to blessing for you. In the name of Jesus. Second thing you must do, amongst many other things of obedience, you must pray violently to reject evil cross. God desires to take evil cross, to take evil load from our life. I read one scripture. I will pray. Psalm 81 verse 6. Psalm 81 verse 6. Psalm 81 verse 6. Look at the promise of God. I love you from the New Living Translation. NLT. He says, now. What did he say? When? He says, now. I will take the load from your shoulder. I will free your arm from your heavy tower. God will take the load from your shoulder. Now. When will he take it? Now. Tonight? Now. Tomorrow? Next week? When will he take it? Now. Don't take it off the screen. Bring it back. Bring it back. Now. I will take the load from your shoulder. I will free your hands from their heavy tasks. Every heavy tax of the tax masters upon your progress, hey, upon your life, uh, making it impossible for you to conceive, impossible hey, for you to get married, impossible for you to break through, impossible for you to succeed, impossible for you to fulfill your destiny. All those evil lords of the tax masters, God says He will take them away now. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two and say, every evil plant with my heavenly father are not planted in my destiny right now. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. All eyes closed for just one minute. There are some of us here. We have not given our lives to Jesus. There is a second category of people. You have given your life to Jesus. But things have not been right between you and God. Today, today, today is the day. If you don't want to go back home so, with evil law, with crosses that do not belong to you, you, you must take that first step and, and come to the one who said, Now, so, see, what's all that? now, now he will take the law from you. So, so if you are here, you are not sure of your salvation. You can't remember the day that you publicly surrender to Jesus. You can't remember the day that you made Christ your Lord and your Savior. Or you are here, you have gone back to the world. The enemy has lured you into one idol, to one wrong thing or the other. Today is a new day for you. Wherever you are, just raise up your right hand. Let those people raise up their right hand. I want to pray for you quickly. You are saying, Pastor, let me pray for me. I want a new beginning with Jesus. Take another step of faith quickly. Come forward to the altar. Come quickly, come quickly. We still have two prayers to pray. Yes, yes, yes. These three days, they are days of change. Days of transformation. Come, come, run to your blessing. As you are running, you are coming to your blessing. You are coming to your blessing. You are coming to Mount Zion. We are there is deliverance and holiness. You are coming to possess your possession. I was worse than you. I was worse than you. But Christ saved my soul and took away evil law. I will have been carrying cross that do not belong to me. I carried the cross of barrenness for many years. But Jesus saved me when I did what I'm asking you to do. Come quickly to the Lord. Come quickly to the Lord. Come and experience the God of personality. The God of new beginning. We are waiting for you. Bear with us. We will close in about 10 minutes. Everybody bear with us. This is the most important miracle. Be praying. 
If you are sure of your own salvation, be praying wherever you are. Be praying for more souls to come to the kingdom. Start praying now. Begin to list the evil crosses, negative crosses that you don't want to go back to. List them in your heart. And begin to pray. Why those who are coming forward are coming? Don't just be looking at them. Begin to pray concerning your own destiny. How many evil do you want to get? Are you still coming? Only my Jesus can say. God bless you. Only Come, Jesus keep coming, keep coming. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can say. Only, only, only. Only Jesus can say. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can say. Only Jesus can say. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can say. Let us pray. Every one of you that has come forward, you have come to Mount Zion. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. Since I made the decision you are making my life, I never remain the same. And I know that same testimony will be yours. I want you to pray after me very quickly. Say, Father. Father. Every one of you in front say, Father. Father. I come to you today and I confess Jesus as my only Lord and my Savior. Today, every evil Lord evil cross of my life. I hand them over to you. I reject them. Save my soul. Heal my backsliding. Give me a new name. Give me a new beginning. Wash me clean by your precious blood. Forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. As from today, as you take away evil load from my life, give me a brand new beginning. And use me mightily for your glory. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may wonder, what is it? What is going to happen? But things will happen as from today. I believe it. And I know you believe. Look towards your right hand side. Look at that banner that says, Counselor. That's the blood of Jesus. That's the, the color of the blood of Jesus. From today, as you are approaching that banner that has the blood of Jesus... Any evil that wants to confront you, they will confront the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus will wipe them out of your way. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. If you believe that only Jesus can say, thank you, thank you. Two prayer points very quickly. Lift up your hands to the Lord. The only one who has promised that now I will take the Lord from your shoulder that he will free our hands from their heavy time. Pray to him now. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every evil law. Every evil law. Every unwanted task. Every evil cross that I am for to be, that, I'm to to be that I'm compared to carry directly or indirectly, evil law, evil crown of sickness, of poverty, of failure, of delay, of losses, of frustration, of rejection, of stagnation. Right now, I reject them, take them away from my life in the name of Jesus. Prayer. Marebocotoria Vacasa, let your amen be very, very loud. Let it be very, very loud. As a matter of fact, before I pray for you, so that we can save time, I want us to do something. The Lord has given me victory. I am Jehovah. Testimony in the name of Jesus. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. It is marvelous. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. It is marvelous. 
Someone is not dancing. The Lord of Sabbath is good to me. The Lord of Sabbath is good to me. Ah. Hey. Ah, 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 ah. Lord of Sabbath. The Lord of Sabbath is good to me. He has done it for me. He has done it for me. Someone to receive additional miracle with your dance now. Aha! So bring your green card tomorrow. <laughs> now, God's chosen servant has asked me to announce that your childhood photographs, bring them tomorrow. Whether when you were born, crawling, and the childhood photograph of all your children. Problems from childhood. The blood of Jesus will wipe it up. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet love of the Holy Spirit be with every one of us now and forevermore. Amen. One loud hallelujah to the Lord. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Love you with the love of God. You have just listened to this message from the senior pastor of Christ Living Spain Apostolic Ministry, Clam. Pastor Wale Oladiyo. To order a copy of our video and audio messages, please call 01-794-9712, 0807-658-1733 or visit Clam Bookshop at Plot 126 Clam Avenue on Mole Ikeja. You can also visit our website at www.clamgo.org or join Pastor Wale Oladiyo for the live streaming of our services on www.clamgo.tv. For counseling and prayers, please call 0802-121-4355, 0803-826-6330 and 0805-564-2735. Join us for our Wednesday Revival Hour from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Wednesday and Sunday Glorious Service from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. As you come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Settled.